Hey guys, so basically there's a new installer for Antibirth, and I'm and today I'm going to be showing you how to, you know, get it to work and install Antibirth for you guys. It's pretty simple. Once again, all you want to do is make sure you do not have uh, Antibirth installed. You can see the DLC tab down here. If it's not there, then you can go to Properties, uh, DLC tab, and you're just going to want to make sure this isn't ticked, because if it is, then once again, the mod might not work. It could cause some issues because it's not Afterbirth compatible. After that, you want to go to the Antibirth website by going Antibirth. Com. Wait for it to load. Click the download here. Download the link on Mediafire. Get some ads apparently. And then you're gonna get this type of link and you're gonna want to wait for it to you know keep downloading. After that you're gonna want to go to downloads right here. And you should see it downloading, but since I've already got a working version so you don't have to wait, you just want to wait till this is done, and then when it's done, you'll have an option to see it in the folder. Go to Show in Folder, click the Antibirth.exe, and next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have Destination to install Antibirth. This time you do not have to install it, install it in the um, Rebirth folder, so it's a lot easier. So basically what you can do is you can create a new folder. Let's call it, I don't know, uh, Antibirth Test or something like that. Sure, why not? You know, you're going to want to copy the directory by right-clicking the top of this and then copying it. And then paste it into here. Install. Wait for that to finish. You should see it all coming in already. Alright, and then after that you're going to want to hit close. You're going to want to open the anti-birth folder. You should see everything in here. So basically, well, the first folder isn't really need necessary to be there, but it gives you a good idea of where the anti-birth for and the anti birth folder is going to be rather than just anywhere on the desktop, so it's a lot nicer. You can just drag that out once you're done and get rid of this or something. I don't know, do whatever you want with it. And then you'll get a new little shortcut for anti birth. Basically, what you want to do is you just want to click it and, you know, it'll open. For some reason, it defaults to full screen, not a big issue, but it can be a little annoying. It'll take a minute to load and it's going to be really loud, so, you know, everything's fine. 